Hey, welcome back to Who's Up, where we get into um, sports, personal finances, personal health and wellness, and we tackle some current events. Today, we have Dr. J, Justin, and Danny Ocean. So, Danny Ocean, what's going on in the world of sports right now? So, week three of college football is wrapped up. I know it's been two major weeks. First week is usually just a bunch of lower tier schools, but it still counts. Um, what do you guys think? I'm looking at you, Dr. J, because your Florida State Seminoles got beaten in the last. He went from contending with Notre Dame to losing to Jacksonville State in the last 10 seconds. Are you okay? This is more. This is a good. this is a mental health check. Are you okay? It's not looking good right now. You, you know I mean, because Notre Dame looked fraudulent too, from what I heard. I didn't. I didn't see their score or anything, but it looked like they had a little struggle bus. But I mean, I, it's a tough spot because you know you want to feel good for the HBC. But that's not what we're supposed to be doing right now. This is embarrassment to the program. Bobby Bowden rolling his grade. I think everybody got to go. Teachers, staff, anybody that had a finger in there, y'all got to go and got to go yesterday. Um, the janitor, it don't matter. You got to go. Um, this this is not going to be tolerated. Call Deion Sanders. Call Charlie Ward. Get Jameis Winston from the Saints. We got to do something. And we got to do it yesterday. We don't lose this level of talent. Now, that's no disrespect to anybody that was playing, but that's high school ball that we lost to. I'm sorry. And then we, I can't have that. So we're going to look forward to the rest of the Sundays in football with Kansas City because the Seminoles, they let me down. So we got to get the Chiefs to act right. Just turn um, Question hey, for you, D. Go ahead. Uh, based upon uh, what Brian Kelly said last week as a Notre Dame coach, he said his players should be executed. Are you along that same uh, – uh, line should your players be executed? I mean, I don't want nobody in the grade, you know. Let's let's yeah. not be Texas and anti abortion and life and all that type of stuff. But no, nah, don't you don't play football no more. Don't play Madden, don't play fantasy, don't play DraftKings, go somewhere and go to class, and that's it. But was anybody hurt though? Because I know like uh what was it, like the Texas game, the quarterback got hurt. Was anybody I'm gonna tell you hurt what happened? Y'all? I'm gonna tell you what happened. Jameis Winston went to the league. And they went from the BCS to the college playoff system. And we ain't been right since. That's it. Because, okay, I'm going to tell, tell you for real, because the year James went to the league, a lot of them could have came back, right? Because they weren't really eligible to go to the league for real, for real. So when they came back, they went on autopilot. I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm this, I'm that. And they ain't one since. It just been, yeah. At least Miami is bad too, right? Like all the Florida football is bad, except maybe UF. And UCF. UCF is the best team in Florida right now. I think didn't they just change, change conferences? I think they yeah, they're going to join the Big Twelve. Big Twelve. Yeah, well, when, I'm still in the ACC. Florida State. Yeah, yeah. Right. See, we we supposed to be supposed to be the ACC. What is a Clemson Tiger? That ain't supposed to exist. That to be a doormat. You see what I'm saying? Clemson, what about Clemson? them Hokies though? Them Hokies. Oh, they another one. They they some Big East rejects. They come chasing the paper trail, and then they supposed to be the doormat too. Michael Vick, he thought he was that man at Virginia Tech, and he learned the hard way when it comes to that championship game. And life just ain't been right, man. Uh, they got they got to do better than Tallahassee, man. I don't know. Something got to be done. Does anyone else have any other thoughts on college football? Bama look like a powerhouse, like always. Sure do. It's like I mean, a small NFL team down there. It's ridiculous. Did anyone watch the Texas-Arkansas game last night? I heard Texas. Didn't they lose? Yo, yeah. so there's a. I actually took a photo of this. Steve Sarkeesian's face. It's kind of like he realized that the big, the SEC is a different animal. They got throttled last night. I think they lost by at least twenty. It was not a fun game. To, I mean, it was fun because it's fun watching Texas lose, but they're not built for the SEC at all. They're more different than Texas. Another one, Mac Jones and what's Vince Young and all them left and it. Man, Mac Jones is Bama. Cole McCoy, yeah. Dog, we not gonna sit on this joint. Call McCoy mentioned McCoy. in the same breath as Tim Tebow. Like we, we are they? Are you for real? We talk about college. They were great. They, college they were slinging in though. Graham Harrell and all them boys is out. Pope Brennan, Big Twelve was jumping. Had good quarterback play. Patrick Mahomes in the Big Twelve. Yeah, well, you know, Patrick. and he ain't do nothing that. Was it? That's not his fault. Hey. Cliff, Cliff Cliff Kingsbury somehow turned that. Texas Tech jobs to the Arizona job, and he couldn't win with Patrick Mahomes. I still don't understand how he got in the NFL. He touched the him of Sean McVay's playbook 
and turn that joint into a full-time gig in the NFL. That's the greatest finesse ever, man. He, he need to, uh, uh, Eric Bell, uh, Bellamy need to uh, go holler at him. Yeah, he need to go fight him. Just yeah. straight up stick that man. You stole his job. Couldn't win with Patrick Mahomes in the Big 12, but somehow a head coach in the NFL. They ain't had no type of defense, though. Like, ain't no defense. Nobody plays defense in the Big 12. I mean, you got to do something, though. Like, you got to at least give me, like, one, two stops. To, you know, hey, listen, me. man, you keep telling me these coaches are offensive geniuses and they can't find a way to beat Baylor, dog. You don't need to be in the NFL. Or TCU. Yeah, you can't beat TCU, dog, and you – no, Andy Dalton, no, you lose, you lose, the the West, you lose to West Virginia. We need to have a conversation, dog. I ain't gonna talk about the Mountaineers like that. I will. Hey, yeah, let's rest. Great Geno Smith. Hey, no, 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 y'all better, y'all better put some respect on West Virginia. We ain't playing for what? Ain't nothing up there, but wait a minute, who is we? I thought you were a Bama fan. No, my that's what that's where uh, half my family from. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, long yeah, live perfect. West Virginia. Yeah, they're excellent. They never live but woods. They're the Big 12 powerhouse. Honestly, now that Texas and Oklahoma leaving, it's wide open. Nah, West Virginia was fun. I went, I was up there. It was fun. Hey, mm. as long as you walk back down, you good. Ran a back. Of people, a lot of people can't say the same. Ran back. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> were you running or were you being chased? Yeah. Hey, at that point, when you look when you look at the you don't know what's going on behind you, sir. <laughs> I will say this about college football. The most interesting thing to me is that Chip Kelly is 2-0 over at UCLA with a win over LSU. Yeah, that's crazy. That one was crazy. Chip got them boys right, man. You I miss him at was? the Eagles. I miss him back at the Eagles. He should come back. Hey, he won the division his first year, and then he decided that he then he he thought Deshaun Jackson was a crip and everything went to hell. <laughs> Yeah, I took DeMarco Murray. Oh, yeah, I missed that. Man thought Deshaun Jackson was a crip and all of a sudden turned into the police. He got rid of everybody, man. He, he got, got rid, rid of everybody. We ain't really recovered. No. I look for y'all to be good, though, this year, man. I mean, Danny, Dan, I got a feeling, you know, Philly going to give me a good 10 and 7. I I'll take it. I know, like I said, it's this week and then it kind of get rough because I know we got to play like Tampa Bay, Kansas City. We got Dallas on a Monday night. But, like, after week six, it get real, it get real easy. Just got to weather the storm. Go 500 mm -hmm. first, five, six weeks, and then go on a run. You can get past Dallas on Monday night. You'll be all right. Hey, man. As much as I hate them, deck look all right. All right. Y'all can be better than all right. Have you, have you seen our secondary? Look, what about the secondary? Just be better than them. <laughs> have you happy. seen our secondary? All right, man. Hey, uh, if your defense aligned do their job, the secondary ain't got to work. It don't, so man, it don't matter if all CD got to do is turn around off the line. I mean, well, I do need him to eat. I got him on fantasy by accident. I missed the draft. And I got stuck with him. So. Yeah, that's, a, that's a blessing. CD, but, hey, I got Amari and CD well, in different leagues, not on the same league. Look, did y'all see the Old Dominion, our Old Dominion monarch? Yes, sir. Man, they got a W. Have to get throttled by Wake Forest. Good. See, Wake I've Force. always had this dog. No, Wake Forest, they're bottom feeders of ACC. No, sir. Are we not going to do that? We better than Florida State right play, now. Man. We, yeah. Hey, man, Old Dominion need to make a play for the ACC. How can they make a play if they get throttled by Wake Forest? You can't do that. Hey, I mean, as long as we beat the local teams, Hampton, Norfolk State, Crystal Newport, as long as we beat them, yeah. we still the best in the 757. to think big. And talk to Notre Dame, and they both make bids to join the ACC. I'm fine with, with being the local talent, just because, like, I like to walk around my, around my chest poked out. No, sir. We need they to. We need to. They can over there. Let me tell you something. If the University of Houston can join the Big Twelve, then why can't we join the ACC? Sure. I can see that. We definitely not big it. enough, though. Our yeah. Yeah. Not oh, big we're not big enough. enough. Oh, Compared to deep. Tech, Florida State, them boys that they get, Clemson. They get. 300 pound, 320 pound defensive hey, lineman. dog, there's a lot of talent in the 757 that isn't, now, no offense, it's not that isn't smart talent. enough to go to some of these ACC schools that need a home. I'm not saying it's the talent. I'm saying it's the, like, facilities. Have you seen well, that'll, that'll, facilities? That'll, 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 that'll come. Mm -hmm. They that'll love, love older men. You try, you, you try and tell me that the university, and I don't know this, and I'm not bragging on the University of Houston. I just know they joined the Big 12. You trying to tell me their facility is better than Iowa State? Nah. West Virginia? 
Yeah. But like you're not they're not ACC either though. That's not the same thing. If Kansas football can be in a power five conference, then any school can be in a power five conference. Yeah, I didn't. But they play football in Kansas though. Like that's like one of the best schools out there. Dog, Kansas. They got line of college football. Yeah, they got they got linemen. They got them corn fed boys, but they ain't got they trash. I don't care what they (laughs) Nebraska got them corn fed boys too, and they trash. Hey, Nebraska produce some good running backs. Yeah, true. And Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. In Wisconsin, yeah. So I have this theory I want to float it by you guys about college football and that schools that are sponsored by Adidas are traditionally terrible compared to schools that are sponsored by Nike. Mm-hmm. That because Adidas sucks and you're going to tear an MCL, ACL, something. You, you can tear I, something up. It's just something about the brand. Like the only good team that is sponsored by Adidas right now is Texas A&M. And they all are. They struggled and, yesterday. And they struggled. And Mississippi State had to, well, they had to come back. They had to like 24 in the fourth quarter to beat Louisiana Tech. So I really don't count Mississippi State. Mm-hmm. Miami, three stripe school. Kansas, three stripe school. Mm-hmm. Three stripe schools. Is that because Nike is not going to put their name on trash? <laughs> they got the Ducks looking good yesterday. Ooh, that was a great game. Pac-12 look a little decent this year. Yeah, Pac-12 looking a little spooky. Not spooky. They look pretty good. But whose idea was it to put Washington, Michigan on last night? Someone needed to be fired. Who who was out here saying, yo, we need to put on – We people want to watch Michigan play football. Like, they want no you to one see one Harbaugh one last time. They that man been, that, that, man been right. there seven years, ain't beat Ohio State yet. He a fraud. Get he him might beat him this year. No urban mind. Oh, he ain't beat nothing this year. <laughs> name name one person on the Michigan roster that you're like, hey man, that boy was good. Did you watch the game last night? No, nope. exactly. Well, there we have ain't, it. Ain't nothing to watch. I was out in the garage. What are we doing in the garage? Working on a, a tool chest. That might be the oldest thing I've ever heard in my life, man. Spending uh, Saturday night working on a tool chest. I love it. Hey, that's better than watching Michigan and Washington. <laughs> well, at least it was something worse than that was Holyfield's fight. Didn't everyone get knocked out in under a minute? Every fight lasted. Didn't he make it up the first round? Yeah, I think it was free on DraftKings for a reason. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, man. Anything else for college football other than what's his face? Um, I know we talked about Notre Dame. They're frauds, too. Um, I'm trying to think. LSU, what they doing this year? Did they lose yesterday? Some I felt like something happened with Auburn, right? Talking about is this, this, mm-hmm. so we just talking about SEC football. The streets gonna be mad. I mean, mm-hmm. that's all that, that really matters. That's old people. They t- they t- they t- no, match. Auburn won sixty-two to nothing yesterday. And they yeah. fine. Yeah, I thought. What I was, was that? What was the other team? You said Doctor J. No, I just said Big Ten. Kind of hard to look we at. Don't, we don't. Yeah, Big Ten football is terrible to watch. Let me ask you guys a question. This is the last one I got. Do you guys think? And this is back to Notre Dame. Do you think Notre Dame should be allowed in the college football playoff? Because they're technically not in the conference. Correct. Mm. I'm saying, I, again, I think it goes by strength of schedule. Who did you play, conference or no conference? Who did you play? If you beat the Auburns, the Bamas, the, you know I mean, the Oregon. Like, it depends. Like, it, I feel like if you're not in a conference, you got to make your strength of schedule very, very strong. Like, your, non, your non-conference opponents got to be some, got to be some bangers. I, I agree with Justin. If, they, if you keep playing a bunch of nobodies, then you, I mean you don't deserve it. They low key play an ACC schedule, and then try to keep their traditional, you know, USC the right the rivalries, you know. Mm-hmm. But USC ain't they've been down, you know. So maybe they got to switch it up a little bit because yeah. I don't like them anyway. I mean, they just always on NBC. <laughs> so um, I believe, and I'm trying to look this up real quick before I start talking. Notre Dame should never see the college football player playoff ever, and I don't give a damn who they play because they get to skip a conference championship game. They don't play a conference schedule. They get to handpick their opponents. They don't deserve shit. Go play an independent. Go play an independent championship game with BYU every year. Well, BYU's joined the Big 12, so there aren't any more independents outside of Notre Dame. Go play Army and Air Force. Yeah, there you yeah go. You, don't, you don't deserve it. You don't get to handpick. What's the, the schedule this year? Your hardest opponent. As of today, is Cincinnati. Nah, dog. Don't, nah, come out with, don't, don't come out with your hand out to me. 
asking for an invite to the college football playoff because you beat Cincinnati week four. Let me see. Listen, they got Purdue, Wisconsin, Cincinnati, Virginia Tech, SC, UNC, Navy, UVA, Georgia Tech, and Stanford. I don't even hear a top 20, top 35. You UNC, Tech, Cincinnati. USC lost to Tech. They know. Yeah, hey, USC lost. Yeah, USC, they frauds. They lost yesterday. They lost again. Yeah, they lost. They won week one. They lost yesterday. Who did they lose to? Yeah, they lost to Stanford yesterday, 42 to 28. I thought they lost to Tech. Virginia Tech. UNC lost to Tech. Oh, yes. University of North Carolina. I thought you were talking about University of Southern mm-hmm. California. No, my bad. Yeah, yeah. UNC. No, my yeah, bad. UNC lost to Tech. Okay. Dang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Notre Dame can't get in, man. No, they're not allowed. They're not allowed to get in. Join the ACC. Stop being cowards. Join the conference. Win a division. Playing the conference championship game. But basketball, they're in the A's, ACC. Yeah, they're right? in the ACC and everything but football. Well, they, they chasing that TV deal with the NBC or something. But they, like they, they can chase it and play their own national championship on Peacock. You ain't getting no, you ain't getting no mine. Don't even let them sniff the college football playoff. Tell Brian yeah. Kelly. That's what they did to the Big 12, right? Remember Big 12 didn't have a championship game. Mm-hmm. They had this code championship foolishness. Oklahoma got in a few times, but other than that, no, you can Play, play in the conference, play in the championship game. You think we ever going to get more than four teams in the playoff? Yes, it will expand. Yeah. Money. It'll be too long, though. The playoffs will be too long. You keep putting, adding more teams to it. Well, you just like, as you go from four, you got to go to eight. Like, it don't. I but think, like, I think they'd go to six before they You go can't go to six because, like, the way the bracket thing works. Can't you get a first to a bye? Yeah, you, you have to get a bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, you get God. the first to a bye. So you got the bone, bone games already get played. But that's still eight teams, though, if you get a first two a bye. No, for six teams, two, two, and then the other two get a bye. That's six. Okay. Yeah, yeah Bama and Clemson gets the bye, and then the winner of, you know, the Pac-12, Big Ten. ACC. Uh, ACC. Which is the bowl, well, Clemson's the bowl ACC. game anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. Play bowl. That's the let let bowl. every conference champion end in the best Power Five school in. Mm-hmm. And there you go. Like a big dance. Non-power five school. I'm sorry. Either the, the best non-power five or the second worst team, second best team in the uh, SEC. Either Georgia or Cincinnati. One of the two. You mean LSU? LSU is not the second best team in the SEC. It is Georgia. Oh boy. LSU got right. killed. It is you do you do not lose to Chip Kelly and then turn around and tell me you the second best team in the SEC. No, sir. No, you do not. Well, they used to be at least when they had uh what's that dude? Uh Joe Burrow. Yeah, Joe Burrow. Shout out to Ed Oregon. That man turned ultimate finesse, turned the best college team to a championship. Been 500, under 500. I think he's seven and eight <laughs> since he won the national championship. Get your bag, bro. Get your bag. Ain't I ain't mad at it. You did. Any other topics y'all want to run through? Yeah, I ain't UVA got no final words for Dallas fans out there. Why, who, why? Cool. UVA is 2-0. Uh, UVA need to stick to the books. Yeah. 2-0 is 2-0. Graduate a few more doctors or something. 2-0 is 2-0. Kansas City. 2-0. 20. Yeah. and 0. 20 and 0. Oh. Subo. Wow. I can't. I actually, I, I was a Chiefs fan. I just, I like Patrick Mahomes. Now because of you, Dr. J, I hope y'all lose every game. Every see, game. You and see, you see, Justin, popped. that's what, that's what y'all sound like, Cowboys fans, but y'all <laughs> suck. Like, at least he can talk as his team is good. Like, y'all talk like that every year, but a garbage. No, we not, do not. Nah, no, nah, yeah, y'all do. Yeah, yeah y'all, y'all, do. Y'all, y'all have heard yeah, that Yeah, y'all do. Y'all have heard that from me? Y'all bring out your jean shorts, your Flint Jordans. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Super Bowl. Michael Irvin got him in the Super Bowl against Kansas City. No, he back in the Yeah, That's Michael Irvin. Boss. Michael Irvin need to pee in the cup. You see, you know, you know, you he know, you whack when the, when the worst media personality is root for you. Skip Bayless, <laughs> Michael Irvin. Oh, Skip is horrible. He is not. He's not a Cowboy fan. Oh, yes, Skip he is. is. He yes, is. No, he's he not. Yeah, Skip yeah. is horrible. Yeah. He gargling that cowboy. Skip got 20 cases of doing y'all right now for the rest of the season. 
Good luck. Honestly, I think I think the media get paid so much to talk about us because again, I don't believe Stephen A. don't like the Cowboys. I don't believe it. I just I think, think that he, I think that he picked the side and was like, oh, they gonna love me if I hate on the Cowboys. Oh yeah. And so again, I don't, I don't think he genuinely doesn't like the Cowboys. And Shannon Sharp too. He just again, it's fun to hate the Cowboys. So again, it's smart to hate the Cowboys. Collect your check. Yes. Collect your check. But that's I mean, Stephen A. from New York, right? I mean, yeah, he a Giants, he a Giants fan. fan. That's that's yeah. A... yeah, but he don't he don't hate the Cowboys. Yes, I mean, he who, who, who actually right? like them? I mean, I do. We gonna check on you, man. We gonna pray for you. We gonna oh, the Cowboys see, have a strong for? hold on black people. I don't know what that's it is because they won in the nineties. Like the Cowboys have a really strong hold on black people. We sure do. Not my with it. Oh, wow. right, I hope y'all lose. I hope y'all. I hope y'all get smoked today. Cause as soon as you do next, next what? Next episode, boy. That's all I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about nothing else. That's gonna be the whole. That's gonna be forty minutes. 40 oh, minutes. We, we got. We got the barbecue smoking right now, man. Rick, he gonna get you about good about thirty. I got him on that touchdown. Hardman gonna get one hundred five in a touchdown. Kels gonna have one twenty six in a touchdown. It was so, so Mahomes going to throw for a whole season for four yards four today. Oh, 73. <laughs> and five and five. He's going to have 5,000 yards by week eight. <laughs> Mate, I'll put, like, put it like this. He get out of hand real quickly on Matt. <laughs> so, all I got to do is be like that. Uh, they can have man, that, that Browns defense ain't nothing to play with. Yo, you keep talking that, and they they gonna lay some wood on you, and your right. and your and your patchwork offensive line that y'all hope that you hope gel together. Watch, they don't come hit you. They Miles look at Garrett. patchwork home wrong, and we find them thirty thousand. Yeah, Miles yeah. Garrett take his helmet off again. <laughs> yeah, don't he have COVID? No, nah, Miles playing. Uh, yeah, you hope he had it. Somebody was in the protocol, man. Hey, just, just tell uh, Zach Zach uh, Zach Zach Martin had COVID. Um, let me. Let me just say this. Tell Patrick, I know the last time he played a real game, he was running towards the other end zone. Tell him to focus ahead. Tell, mm -hmm. tell him he could trust them big guys if he wanted to. Mm. They held it. That we, man we, ran we more have yards back. We're not going to have reject that. Cowboys trying to block him. It's mm. okay. It's okay. Just tell Patrick Mahomes threw for, uh, ran for more yards running backwards than he threw going forward. So mm. that's, that's what right. I want to leave you with. That's all right. He was in the game that Dak Prescott would never know about. He Ooh, will. Tell you that. Yeah. He will. That, he will. That, Don't you worry no, about that. No, he he, he gonna will. watch on Direct TV now, like the rest of the people. He be talking yeah, on. No, not Direct TV now. Direct TV stream. Y'all ain't getting there this year. All right, ain't if nobody getting there. We not there. The, the, the rate is not gonna be right. We we part of the programming. Y'all have right. one good year. Now y'all 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 the best, huh? One good year. This going on four five. Man, we we've been racing. Right Andy Reid been right. Oh, Alex Smith had you on the Super Bowl. I mean, we the AFC Championship. Once again, a place that Dallas ain't been to the championship game no, since. We, we ain't going to be to the AFC. We're going to be in the NFC. I Don't mean, I nothing. ain't been to the NFC Championship either. Dak can't yeah. catch. Not Dak. What's your boy? Uh, Dez dropped it. You know what I'm saying? That was about the closest I've seen in my lifetime. I'm sorry. I think Dez caught it. He did. He caught it. Yeah, I think Dez caught it. He oh, caught man. it. To I, two steps was, and tried I know, to I know that's controversial. Dez caught that joint. So he must have caught it that fast and then caught it, fumbled. Took two steps and tried to put it over the goal yeah. line. That De Des caught that. Even if he didn't cross the end zone, it should have been in the within the five. At the one. That's a dog, Justin. I'm on your side here. Okay, yeah. At the five. Danny so the five, 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 the five like, right? Within the five, like they should have been goal to go. Well, either way, they didn't catch it. So game over. Uh go follow us on IG at who's up underscore podcast. If you have any questions, anything you want to hear anything special from us, send us an email at 1-800-who's-up at gmail.com. We out. Peace. Go Birds.